Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sing or Naya. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So I came across this video, a Mexican man did, right? See, the truth is that sometimes you know them by their foot, you shall know them, right? And they keep denying what they are. But eventually, you are going to see what they stand for. So this Mexican, sorry, Mexican man came out to say that he is not a racist because Bishop Thomas was telling them that uh, if you are supporting the other person, that you are right to the cease. And the other man said that uh, he cannot be right to the cease to us, maybe people that look like me and all that. Why? Because he is Mexican. So while the whole conversation was going on, he said that I'm playing that he is going to support the other person, which I do not have a problem with. But now let me tell you something. You all remember what happened in Florida during the period that all those people were like, we don't want to see you people here anymore. And they started screaming, asking black people to come and speak up for them because it is not in their culture to speak out. So it is in black people's culture to speak out. They forgot that their master's first policy is mass deportation. And majority of them are not legal where they live. And they are busy screaming that we are the problem when they do not understand what it's going on and they refuse to learn. Right, so the same person that was screaming, he is not ready to desist. They found video of him where he was doing blackface. Let's get into this. I'll be voting for Donald Trump, <laughs> despite what the left may say. Obviously, that doesn't make me a racist. Yes, it does. Yes, it absolutely does. Yes, it does. How all Republicans aren't racist, but every racist is a Republican. Okay. I'm not a Republican, but still, there's no way that that's true. So I just informed you, in which case, you're voting with racists. That's, uh, that's a weird logic. Well, I'm Puerto Rican, so I can't be racist and I'm not a Republican. I'm just voting for Trump because I want to be able to afford things again. You are siding with people who want to start a race war. Race war. You are. Whoa. It's the first time I've ever heard anything about a potential race war. I'm pretty sure I'd want to side with the people with all the guns. You are the company you keep. Okay. Look, man, I just want to be able to afford things again. The economy's been shit for the last three years. It's just time for a change. I don't give a fuck who they're voting for. I'm not voting with them. You want to see the economy good and this, that, and the third, but you are hanging out with a bunch of people who are very, very bad. Very bad. Right, but I'll be able to afford groceries again. You know what? You sold me on this argument. I'll be a Republican. Can I be a Republican? Vance, can I be a Republican? Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? No, but I do like having a roof over my head, so sure, whatever. You found one dude. All black people are criminals. Do you see how dumb and inaccurate that is? Your statement is worse. Oh, really? Let me make sure we understand what my fucking statement is. You mouth breathing bastards. Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not mean that we agree or can. Yes, it does. Yes, it absolutely does. Yes, it does. All Republicans aren't racist, but every racist is a Republican. Who does David Duke and the KKK vote with now? Republicans. Who do white supremacists vote with now? Republicans. I don't give a fuck if you can find a Puerto Rican, a black, a Native American, a Latino, a fucking Jewish person, an Asian person, a Muslim that side with you. It still doesn't change the fact that all Republicans are not racist. However, all racists are Republicans. And if you stand there, you know what? Never mind. I'll let the motherfucking video finish it for me. Republicans aren't racist, but every here. racist is a Republican. And you know this, or you probably don't, so I just informed you, in which case you're voting with racists. 
you're voting for a person who has been found liable for a grape. True. Who is in the uh, Jeffrey Epstein files right now. True. Right now. You are siding with people who want to start a race war. Race war. True. You are. True. So this idea that just because we're voting for this person doesn't mean we believe what everybody else that is also voting for this person believes in. I'm sorry, that doesn't work. Sorry. Have you have you ever heard the term lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas? Yes. Yes, you. Even though you might not believe any of that, you are hanging out with people who do. True. You are the company you keep. The company you keep. It is as simple as that. Mm. I don't know why you guys are trying to make this more difficult than it absolutely is. So once again, how in the fuck can you edit down something that I own? This is what got all you motherfuckers with your panties in a wad. All of you. And I'm going to show you how egregious you simple bastards are. Here is somebody that selectively edited my fucking video again. I'll be voting for Donald Trump. And despite what the left may say, obviously that doesn't make me a racist. Yes, it does. Yes, it absolutely does. Yes, it does. How? All Republicans aren't racist, but every racist is a Republican. Okay. Well, I'm not a Republican, but still, there's no way that that's true. So I just informed you, in which case, you're voting with racists. Uh, that's a weird logic. Well, I'm Puerto Rican, so I can't be a racist. And again, you fucking idiots are too dumb for this. To even understand, but you know what? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to give you some examples of people that sit on your fucking side of the aisle. He sits on the, on the, on the Republican side. This motherfucker right here. Oh, want to know what he's famous for? Hold on. I got you. Hi, baby. Tom Kamala has. Listen to my song, horn dogs. You only say what is untrue. You are a master false Guess who he supports? Oh, I'm sorry. You you need more examples. Got you, fam. Don't even worry about it. I have a challenge for anyone who has ever sent me a DM or I have interacted with both on and off of this application. Here's the challenge. Find me a message that I've ever said like this. Guess what party he supports? And you know what? I'll even go into the fucking comment section of the damn video I just showed from your boy Joey the Puerto Rican voting for Donald Trump because he wants shit in his pocket but doesn't want to claim the racists that are standing next to him hold on a second bro it absolutely does yes it does how all Republicans aren't racist but every racist is a Republican okay well, I'm not a Republican but still there's no way that that's true so I just informed you in which case you're voting with racists uh, that's a weird logic well I'm Puerto Rican so I can't be a racist do you know why it's easy for me to spot you simple fucks because on this side of the aisle if somebody ever said any of that shit they gotta get the fuck out of my face I don't fuck with people like that see I have principles as opposed to political ideology Y'all have no principles, which is why you have no floor, no basement. It doesn't matter. You people will do whatever the fuck it is that you have to do to get Donald Trump back elected. And that means if you have to stand next to races, your bitch ass is just, oh, we'll just stand next to him because MAGA 2024. But you, again, once again, how the fuck is it y'all expect us to do the critical motherfucking legwork for you simple asses? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. I don't. I have thousands of examples, and I'm one fucking person. There are thousands of people who also have examples of this. 
Yet for some reason, y'all will find one person in a marginalized community, a woman, a gay person, whatever, to parrot your shit. And that's the only fucking time you want to hear him. I'm surprised he isn't talking about the border, to be dead ass honest with you. He did say he was Puerto Rican. I'm surprised. Because most of you motherfuckers can't tell the difference between a Cuban, a Puerto Rican, a Nicaraguan, an El Salvadoran, a Venezuelan, or a Mexican. I'm surprised y'all ain't like, how come you don't talk about the border, bro? Again, we're not doing the motherfucking legwork to identify the racist for you simple asses. Nope, we're just watching them as they vote MAGA 2024 and we're pinning you all with the same brush. And you can edit my fucking videos however the fuck you want to. Y'all forget, bitch, I have the originals. I have them. So this conversation is like, Talking to a motherfucker. Y'all, you know what y'all remind me of? The Black Knight in Marty, Marty Python's, uh, Marty Python and the Holy Grail. It's just a scratch. Y'all ain't got no legs, no arms, nothing. Fuck out of here. Is it, is it getting old, Donnie? Imagine sending your kids off to school in America every day and not knowing if they're going to come home. And for the record, I'm really glad that your dad's okay. But there's absolutely no evidence that it's a radical leftist. But just like your dad, you don't care about facts. You just care about fear. And when you say no person should ever have to do this in America, yeah, how about those parents who are bearing their children? Other classmates who had to see their classmates be unalived. Teachers. Did you, did you tell them that their dad's like a very pro NRA president? reform. Nah, let's arm the teachers. Let's bring the pew pews closer to the kids. Or, or we could just, you know, make it like a prison where they walk in, go in through a metal detector. They can get frisked if it goes off. Again, glad that your dad's okay. Sally, those kids in Georgia are not. But you know, hey, thoughts and prayers. Since jackasses have turned assassination attempts into partisanship, I genuinely have to ask this. Why do Republicans keep trying to murk this man? Why? Y'all can scour whatever the fuck you want to scour to find out whether or not this person belongs to your party. But the two times this has happened, these motherfuckers have been registered Republicans. Why do y'all keep trying to off this man? Y'all want to blame the left so bad, but this is in your own house. We ain't got shit to do with it. We on the outside of this bitch. And it's quite funny that some of y'all want us to have all this deference and quietness and, and <clears throat> we have these deep conversations about assassination attempts. Did y'all motherfuckers give a fuck about the four people that died in Georgia? A week ago, because you did you care? How many of y'all sent thoughts and prayers? Or pick a mass shooting, pick a mass unaliving, involving your favorite weapon of choice. How many of y'all gave thoughts and prayers and then grabbed your grabbed your weapons and hugged them tighter than you've ever hugged your kids? Your man has PTSD from the first time this happened. Y'all never wanted him to deal with it because that would show a sign of weakness. I'm just saying, your man is out here suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder from the last time somebody tried to take his life. He has been unhinged ever since. And rather than giving a fuck about his mental health, you MAGA crowd just, y'all buy his shirts, never surrender. Like, I get it, he put that shit out because he was trying to be defiant. But truthfully, he was scared to fucking death. The last guy that tried this, Republican. This guy that tried this, Republican. Why do y'all hate your man so much? Why y'all keep trying to drag us into it? I ain't had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it at all. I wasn't there when it happened. Do I want to see that man's fucking policies beaten? Absolutely. fucking lutely. I want his. I want his policies and his mindset to just be wiped off the fucking face of the earth. But as far as him dying. Uh, we all gonna we all gonna go. He 
You can't keep running from that widow make a heart attack. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm not the one that has no cardio, eats fried chicken and fucking Big Macs every day and then guzzle it down with Diet Coke and no water. I'm not. That ain't me. There was not a leftist or a liberal to try to do this to this man twice. It was people on your side. Why y'all keep trying to take your man off the picture, uh, off the census? Why? Why y'all keep trying to send that man to the upper room? Why? Since we have to do this shit in partisan fucking ways, then let's do them in partisan ways and get it the fuck over with. Why are Republicans trying to off your man? Ain't that your dude? Is that your king? Ain't that him? He out here talking about, I have to tell my kids and grandkids that the radical left, them, them motherfuckers wasn't radical, and they damn sure weren't leftists. They weren't. But we scoured, I don't give a fuck what you scoured. Y'all turned this into a partisan thing. So while you scouring, look up who both of them motherfuckers, what party they were registered to. Don't bring that shit to us. Don't bring it to us. Now, when you guys want to have a conversation about the assassination attempt, then please understand, we're going to talk about every mass unaliving that has happened with your weapon of choice. We're also going to talk about the fact that Republicans put on the pins of AR-15s after a mass unaliving because they needed, I, I guess they figured the AR-15s feelings were hurt. Y'all want us to have sympathy. Try having some sympathy for all these people that have lost children loved ones and shit like that at mass on allotments. If you ain't gonna do that, then you wanna turn this back into a partisan thing, fine. Republicans, y'all need to clean your house up. Cause for some reason, your own Republicans don't like your presidential candidate. Ain't a leftist, with nobody with pink hair or unicorn rainbows, with nobody wearing a Black Lives Matter teacher, none of that shit. None of it. No. That's in house. That's y'all people. So fucking deal with it. We ain't got nothing hey. Stop bringing us into the shit. So this is all I got from this. See, he's um, that sincerely speaking. This is people are really getting out of hand. But then he is a uh, Mexican, right? I really do not understand how some people. Okay, now let me start with that. Uh, you know, these people are Mexican. They are not. Um, they are not just the only people. Migrants, the ones that were able to, they left their country to United States and they have settled. Some of them also do not have papers, right? Sincerely speaking, these people are also part of the people that are supporting Trump. Forgetting, I don't know why some of them are so ignorant. Forgetting that uh, he's number one. See, I am not saying the petition is a. Uh, that is none of my business, right? But I am still trying to make a point. Deportation is one of his top policies. He is going to deport all of you, all of you. There are so many Hispanics, Mexicans, that do not have papers. See, do not get me wrong for saying they do not have papers, right? I am trying to explain something. Why some people think they are smart, but they are not smart. Some of them are supporting Trump so, like, you know, so much. And I want you all, and I do not have a problem with you supporting Trump, but I want you all to get ready because he is going to deport you all back to your countries. I remember during the period around the sunnies did the one he did in florida and most of you were screaming up and down some of you like within in a twinkle of an eye you all disappeared from florida why you don't want to work there and which was you all saw what happened that period it was really hard right and now after how many months this one came back he is coming you all are already and then you all remember during that period when the sunnies did what he did guess what they told they told black people to come and speak up for them come and fight for them that it is uh, not in their blood or in their culture to make noise i don't know if you all remember that period it is not in black it is not in their culture to come out and make noise when they have problem, but it is in black people's culture to come out and scream like the mad people they are to save you people. I really love that period. That was one of the best period ever because 
Black people looked them dead in the eyes and told them, if we ever hear our names from your mouth, you are not going to survive it. And they were attracted because they know they messed up. You see, oh, my blessed Sir Thomas Bishop. That means actually a, a great blessing to black community. I love him with all my heart. He told him that, uh, well, you all, he said, but he is not a racist. I am supporting, but he is not a racist. He said, you are. And in the end, he dug up video where he had black face and was dancing around. Like I keep saying this, show me your friend and I will show, tell you this. And they keep saying best of the same flock or tell me your master and I will tell you what you stand for. The truth is that when you hear them, when you see them speak, you can actually understand where they are coming from because they are as amazing, ironical, as amazing or oxymoron, and as amazing as their as their master. Look at him in blackface, dancing around. You already amaze me all the time, but it is what it is. I wish all the, wish you all the very best. But I hope you all don't come around screaming. Save us. Nobody, I ain't saving anybody this time around. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.